Hi friends, welcome back. If you are a biomed graduate like me, or if you're still studying biomed, chances are people have asked you, what are you studying? And you tell them you're studying biomed, and two things can happen from there. One, in their head, they're thinking, ah, the person never made it to med. Or they ask you, oh, is that med? And you say, no, it's not. And they go, which is honestly understandable to be confused because for the most part of biomed, I wasn't even sure what it's about, where it was supposed to take me and where biomed fit within this health science, healthcare area. So now that I graduated, I thought, hey, maybe I could try and explain what I think biomed was all about. I'll first provide an overview of why I think people do biomed, then what biomed is all about, and finally my thoughts on the course itself. So why do people do biomed? From my experience, there are three reasons. Firstly, they didn't get into undergraduate med, so they're thinking of doing biomed in hopes that they can get into postgrad med, aka me. Secondly, they don't know what they want to do, but they enjoyed slash was good at science in high school, also me. Or finally, they're way too smart. They got into a guaranteed spot for postgrad med at Melbourne, but Melbourne has decided to make you do three years of undergrad biomed, which I'm not sure why. But if there are any other reasons that I've missed, feel free to let me know down in the comment section below. I'll be curious to find out. To better understand what biomedicine is, I thought I'll explore it from the five key themes that I think the degree is built upon, at least in the case of Monash University. But I believe that other universities within Australia are quite similar as well. I'll also provide my thoughts about them as we go along. Before I continue, I do want to note that this is just my own personal opinion about the course. There will be definitely more to it and things that I might not have covered. Theme number one, molecular and cellular biology. This is the really microscopic part about biomed. There are two key areas to it, cells and DNA slash genes. For cells, we looked at how they multiply normally versus when they're sick, what their functions are, for DNA slash genes, we looked at you know, how they replicate when a cell divides, what happens when there's damage to it, and how we can use different treatments to try and fix it. Personally, I did not mind this topic. Some parts were really microscopic, and it's very hard to visualize it in your head when you're learning, so it takes a bit longer to understand uh, this area, but I think it's one of those areas where you just try and grind through it. For the most part, I thought it was quite a lot of memorization, but I think the unis are changing it now to make it more application-based, which I think is a much better way to learn. Theme number two, body systems. I think off the bat, I can admit that this is the favorite part for me. You will learn about each of the body parts in quite detail, and it was just more big picture, easier to visualize, and you could really see the effects on the body with your naked eye. But more importantly for me at that time, I just thought that it was something that was closest to medicine and that's why I think I really enjoyed this aspect of biomed. Theme number three, infections. Hmm, a bit of mixed feelings here. This is where, you know, you have your humans versus virus, bacteria, fungi, and so on. And we learned about really fascinating stuff about how these uh, different agents would enter our body, infect our cells, multiply and grow, cause disease if your body is not able to overcome it, and then how they exit your body and then maybe infect other people. This is all well and good until you have to learn by heart the different types of bacteria, viruses, and if you have come across scientific names, you will know how ridiculously complicated they are. And on top of that, we have to also remember the bajillion names of antibiotics and how they work. But I would say that there are definitely good parts to it. For example, in the last year of my biomed, I was able to learn about COVID, what I could do to stay safe, the public health measures at that time, and how they work to sort of protect lives. So really big thumbs up to Monash Uni for being able to integrate that into the final year of my course. Theme number four, disease and society. This is where we're introduced to the different kinds of human diseases, both genetic and the more complicated ones that are caused by multiple factors. It is an area where we're exposed to the real pain, suffering and loss that people have to face and endure. And I would have to say it's an area where my motivation for medicine really started to build up 
because I saw that it was really painful, it was really sad, and I really wanted to do something to try and help. And now that I said it out loud, it honestly sounds like a classic response to a why you want to do medicine interview question. But regardless, if you're interested in doing med or really trying to help people, I think this is the part of biomed where you might really find it enjoyable. Theme number five, diagnostic and research tools. This is really important because we get to learn about the different specialized equipments and tools that are used to diagnose diseases, such as your CT scan, MRI, X-ray, and a lot more. The issue was that the way these equipments work were really advanced, and it's like looking at an engineering textbook with no engineering background. So it was really hard to grasp as an undergraduate kid. On top of that, we didn't get any hands-on experience with how these equipments work, it was just all the conceptual information on lecture slides. So if you're studying biomed, I think it's really normal to struggle to understand this area, but I do think it's important to really try and understand what these equipments are used for, even if you don't understand how they necessarily work. Okay, to the juiciest part of the video, did I enjoy biomed? Personally, yes, I did, but I do have to note that I could be biased in my response because I was able to get into medicine, which is what most people in biomed want to get into, and therefore I might have reflected my experience more positively. But I do want to note that from my experience, the biomed degree is quite research focused, and most people that I know who graduated from biomed do end up working in a lab, so it's an important part to consider if you want to do this course. But like all courses, there are exciting and intriguing parts to it, but also parts that are less interesting and perhaps quite dry. And I think that that is okay because that's part of life, which is a mixture of all the good and bad parts. The important thing is to be able to see things more positively and find out ways or find out whether that specific thing is going to benefit you in the future. So for example, when we were learning about CRISPR-Cas9, I found it to be quite dry because it was really microscopic and had to do with the genes and all that. But then I asked myself how important this topic was for my future and it was pretty important because it is a new technology that is used to perhaps try and treat different diseases. Therefore, that was what really pushed me through those um, harder moments because I knew it was important for me in the future. Therefore, I had to know it quite well. All right, I hope you all enjoyed my attempt at explaining what biomed is. If you're interested in studying biomed in the future, I hope that you found this insightful. If you're keen to find out what I'm doing right now, feel free to check out this video. And if not, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.